the only way to get this ride a lawnmower out of this summer house is to ride it down to wooden ramps, which isn't ideal. They are very rickety and they do look like they're going to collapse at any time. So I'm going to remake them using some aluminium checker plate and some angle iron. I'll just give you a quick demonstration of the current ramps and what they actually look like when you're riding the mower down them. It's a fine day today, so we're going to make these ramps outside. Basically the ramps are made from some 50mm angle iron at each side and in between we've got a piece of aluminium checker plate which is about 5 or 6mm. I've already cut this material to length so it's the correct length for the ramps. We need to weld this together and we also need to reinforce it. So I'm going to cut some 50 by 50 angle iron and I'm going to weld it on the back of this angle iron that's already here. Before I do that I need to work out the actual width of the material that I need to cut next. So to do that I'm going to use some 5mm shims and I'm going to shove them between the checker plate and the angle at the sides. That will give us a 2.5mm gap at each side when we come to put the checker plate back in. What we don't want to do is make it a really tight fit and then struggle getting this piece in there later on. So we now just need to measure the actual width and we need to cut our angle iron to go across her and reinforce it at that exact size and we're going to cut four pieces one for the top one for the bottom and two in between and that should make it really strong if i remove the checker plate you can see that it's just two pieces of angle iron As you can see when I place that piece of steel on there we've got a gap underneath which we don't want. So we're going to notch out this steel now using a small angle grinder. So I'm going to position it there and I'm just going to mark that up. And then I'm going to cut that section out using the angle grinder. Once I've done that, that piece will end fit flush with the checker plate. For the reinforcing pieces, we're going to place them that way. So we also need to notch these out. So we need to take the thickness of the metal from that lip there, that lip there, and same at the other side. So I've placed the mark there and there. Now if we get the angle iron and turn it that way and place it on there and draw a line across there that will give us the cut line that we need to cut on to take out this section here so that that will actually lie flat when we put it on there ready for welding i've now got safety glasses on gloves ear defenders i'm also going to wear a visor I've now notched out the pieces of metal like that. They now sit in between the two long pieces of angle iron. I've positioned these three pieces exactly where they need to be and I'm now going to tack these in place with the welder. The top piece of angle iron has been notched out that way and that is for a specific reason so that so we can actually hook that into position when we actually get the ramp down to where it's going. We're now going to put some tacks on this just to tack it in position before we fully weld it later on.
now we've tacked it in position we can clean over the tacks using a wire brush and a chipping hammer and then we can fully weld all of the joints. We're going to start off by replacing the two gudgeons and I've got this piece of unistrut and on the back I've drilled two small holes to accept a screw and on that side I've drilled a larger hole and then we can get a screwdriver through. So we're now going to fix these in the position where the gudgeons currently are. I've now given the ramps a top coat of Rust-Oleum paint and I've now sat the aluminium sheet into the channel that we've made. This checker plate basically just needs fixing to the steelwork. It's not actually going to take any weight or any strain or anything like that. It just needs something to actually hold the aluminium in position. So I'm going to use some blind rivets and they are 3mm by 12mm. So I can drill through in several positions using a, the correct size drill bit and then I can just rivet the aluminium into position. I'm actually putting the rivets where the supports are underneath so the rivets will not show on the back side. When you have completed the ramps they will look something like this. We can now use these for getting the lawnmower in and out of the summer house and also these will come in very handy if we ever need to maintain the lawnmower and get underneath it because we should be able to convert these into some kind of ramps that we can get underneath and actually work on the lawnmower should we need to.